Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of creation process and today I'm back with our new design of a logo. So let's begin with the tutorial. We will use ellipse tool and make a circle. Now we will add some few anchor points to the circle. So to do that we will add anchor point tool, use it and click over the curves. So you will make we will add two anchor points over it now with the die selection tool we will tweak this anchor point so let's tweak it so the reason why we are tweaking is we are modifying this circle into something else something totally new so if you want to make something new you have to tweak the basic shapes into something else and you'll get it so I'm doing the same so we'll take this, we'll make sure that every face is smooth. We need a smooth surface endings. So it should be done very carefully. So that with the die extension tool, it is very easy. You can easily select the handles and just extend the curves. So do it until you will find that everything is smooth and up to date. So here you've got some kind of change in shape. You have to change it. You have to tweak it. And if here you see there is a curve, we don't need that. We need a sharp point here. So with the uh, convert anchor point tool, we will edit this stuff. We will just make sure this curve is smooth. And after that, we will just break this angle now now with the die extension tool we can easily break this so once you have overly overall done that you'll see that everything is curved the next step is duplicate this control C control F and paste it in the front and scale it down to a smaller one once you've done that please it over it change its color to white and let's do some tweaking with the die selection tool let's bring this anchor point here and start tweaking we don't need this point here so to remove that we'll go to home pen tool and we will choose the delete anchor point tool and just remove this point now with the die selection tool tweak it select the point Select the handle and tweak here. Select the angle, make it more curved. It should flow with the direction of the shape which is below. So do it. And after that, we will do. Uh, see, we should have to do everything smooth. We have to convert this whole stuff. So everything should be every this the, the curve which you see should be parallel to these outer boundaries. So and the thickness should be maintained. So we have to be very careful while doing this. So do it uh, slowly, but you have to be perfect. So do it slowly. Now once you uh, got that shape, we will select both of them. Go to Pathfinder and subtract it. You get this simple shape here. The next step is going to uh, change the shape into totally different way so we'll go to if I select the object and before that add some stroke so don't forget to uh, uh, put some stroke to the surface so we'll add some uh, gray color here uh, now after that select the object go to effect 3d extrude and bevel so here you will take this preview option we will rotate this stuff to uh, something this much angle or the way you wish now increase their perspective to almost very high level so that you can see some dynamic change in the object dynamic view now carefully rotate this 3d view here and you can see the changes in your left side so do the changes and see whether you like it whether it's the way you want 
keep on rotating and find the view which is more appealing so once you find that before that just if you feel that the depth is very small you can increase it from here just increase the depth to around maybe 80 which is more like good and tweak the angle a little bit more and if you are done with that click OK so you found made a 3D uh, object using the 3D tool in or in which you have used extrude and bevel so after that there is whole more stuff which you have to do so so that so we have to convert this object into a shapes so we we'll go to object expand appearance so here you got the shape we will go and ungroup it for two times and we will got everything separately and select the stuff and combine it go to pathfinder and combine it in the same way select this one combine it now let's uh, apply some grading color here so change the grading color to this one or maybe a little bit of lighterness and this one maybe white and let's add some okay the way you wish so I think white is good this one let's turn this little bit more of uh, pinkiness here in the same way we'll select this op portion uh, with the eye picker tool we will apply the same gradient here and just apply it here you need to have darker and lighter portion or maybe here lighter or there darker so in this way uh, you can do it you can even change the color if you don't like it make it the way you want tweak the colors and here select this one change, apply the green properly so after that we will change this apply some gradient over, over the surface too so we'll select this one and apply red select this one and apply red and change its darkness increase its, its darkness to dark and after that let's apply the gradient here in here the upper portion will be lighter and lower portion will be darker now after that we will we got this small uh, portion here which is not so we will select that apply some light color of red so that it will show some reflections or maybe edge so go to red and apply some bright color here once you've done that we will add some detail in this gradient we'll add one point here and here and one more here so we will change this color to white and uh, increase its change it to a little bit of red color or maybe a little bit of orange color and just move this to some distance here so that it will uh, look like there is a strip of light over that portion when you look it from distance you find that there is some kind if you feel that it's very uh, shiny you can just go and uh, reduce its brightness so after that you got it now we'll add some we need to edit here this is kind uh, of uh, it's incomplete so we will just select this with the direct selection tool we can tweak it but to tweak that we need the handle so with the uh, convert anchor point tool we will create the handle here and just extend it to here do the same thing here we will create the handle here 
and just extend this handle now with the isolation tool you can easily edit this stuff with more peeling way so do it and give some cool nice finishing here so when you are uh, happy with the finishing you got to add few shadow effects so we will create some shadow for that we'll go to ellipse tool make a small ellipse here change its color to maybe black go to effect blur gaussian blur and increase its blurriness and preview it you reduce it a little bit more and click ok so after that we will select that arrange it to back and just move it upward a little bit and this much now reduce its opacity by going to transparency and putting it to 50% now duplicate this control C control F and scale it down smaller and increase its opacity to 80% and place it below it probably so you find some depth here if you don't get it you just uh, place it properly and you see the depth here so after that if you want to add some reflections select this object or maybe the only the upper portions without leaving the shadows control C or maybe control G to group it and control C and control F paste it in the front it's group now we'll go to this reflect tool double click on it copy it and just lower it down and after that we will create a make a rectangle over it this this uh, to create a sh reflection of the logo I have already created in the previous tutorials but may I just make it clear one more time so just go to transparency make mask select this object apply the gradient change its color to maybe gray and this one totally black and with the gradient tool you can decide from which angle you want your reflection to be visible so once you get that you are done with that and now in the transparency we we'll select the object object arrange send to back and after you've done it we will just place it below quite nearer and you can now scale it up and see the logo and you can add your text here here anywhere like uh, you can uh, evolve E V O uh, evolve and you can change its color to maybe the uh, color which matches your logo and uh, change it or maybe thin and put it where it more fitted with so this is how you can make a nice uh, professional logo from basic shape using the 3d and extrude and bevel objects uh, hope you enjoy the tutorial thank you very much